Monday. Yay. I'm super excited. But we know that some people, Monday marks the end of fun for their calendar. And we know that it's the first day of the week. So responsibilities are back in full gear. And the expectations are usually high. <sighs> I mean, the weekend is traditionally filled with more relaxed and enjoyable activities. But Monday is the return to the real world. <laughs> Reality check. Hello. Are you there? Hello? <laughs> it's me. Arika, I'm just <laughs> telling you, like, guys, people simply have a hard time mm. switching from their carefree weekend attitude to the weekday. It's very emotional for some of us, like... Like OJ, uh, like, see, what? OJ, like... I, but I, on the contrary, have always loved Mondays, though. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, I've whatever. made a conscious effort to go out every day of the week, and I feel inspired by... My job right here. Wow. Mm. So, so right about now, we are starting with the news from the entertainment industry. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this one is about my baby boy, oh. Kiss oh, Daniel. <laughs> so his former manager speaks out. Now, if you remember, sometime last week, Kiss Daniel was reported to have parted ways with his manager, Tumi Lawrence. Yes, that one that allegedly got slapped by Davido or someone in Davido's camp. So Kiss Daniel was said to have sacked Tumi and gotten a new management led by UK Bay's Rebecca Junaid and public relations personnel Ogaga. And we were just like, what is going on? No, no, let me say anywhere, anywhere, right? I say, what is going on here? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> so, <laughs> different theories have since been making the rounds of what could have gone wrong. Mm -hmm. But fast forward to today, Tumi to has finally reacted to the news of the sack after he was asked about it on Instagram by a follower. Now, his reply was, bosses don't get sacked, they walk away. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, boss. Yes. All right, so, so according to some reports, no one expected the change of management because it was to me who actually introduced Rebecca to Kiss Daniel hmm. a while back. <laughs> well, we hope hmm. this new team continues to give us some fire tunes and, of course, no bad songs. You see what I did there? Yeah, 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 hey. the album, no bad songs. <laughs> <laughs> so you're for me, Rafa. Yes, it's for all for Kiss Daniel. We have to give see. him Oh, please focus, focus, focus. Okay, okay, focus, focusing focus. on the news. So now, what do you guys think about that? I saw this news. I don't think... You saw what I said to you last yeah, night. Yeah, I don't think it's because of... A whole lot of people are coming up with different theories. Theories, yeah. I don't think it's because of the slap. Some people <laughs> are saying... Alleged because, slap. Yes, alleged slap mm -hmm. that the guy lied. That's why Kiss Daniel sacked the guy. No, I, I just but think Kiss Daniel just wanted to change management. Man. And apparently... What a coincidence. No, it's wow. a new year. It's a new Thank year. You, my it's sister. A new year. Wow. No, after, after I left G. World Wild, he was now running things himself mm, yeah. with his brother. Then we heard that he was working with Ubi Franklin mm -hmm. of Made Men Music Group. So I think he just wants to own his own his own PR agency and his own management. It's a new year. Let's start on a fresh slate. I think that's what he's no, doing. No, firing that person that got slapped. It, it, it oh, didn't fire. Allegedly, it's not oh, allegedly. It's firing. To I just to me, switched no, According to Tumi, he says, yeah, he bosses don't get sacked, they walk away. away. Now, if he said he walked away, why would he have walked away? Right after the yeah, whole slapping we switch, incident, I switch management. No, I don't believe it. So you can still be, you can still be, like you can still be a part of my team. Davido keeps denying this. You can still be a part slap. of no. You can no, still be a part of my team. Gosh. George, um, Jojo, that's you are being a politician. No, right that's here. Junaid. That's Junaid That's Junaid Babe. Jojo is based in the UK. Mm. Ogaga is based in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So you still need somebody like Tumi Lawrence with you to be on your team because yeah. you need somebody to be moving around with you, mm -hmm. aside your brother. So why so did Tumi walk away? Okay. You went on to get somebody else. So let me just walk away before you sack, before you openly say, I, I don't can, want you anymore. I, mean, I don't think so. For, for him to say something about bosses don't get sacked, you know when you're yes. pained, but you don't want to admit it, but you just try to act like everything is cool. We know everything is not cool. Arika, let's, let's move on and leave OJ. You know what, guys? Life. Moving <laughs> on to... With him. <laughs> moving on to some more news. Yes, drama, drama, drama. Nollywood actress Tonto DK and her ex-husband, Ola Kunle Church Hill, who continue to remain at loggerheads. <laughs> So, <laughs> let me give you guys a gist. An Instagram follower took to the comment section of a post shared by Tonto to wish that Tonto and Daddy King, that is Kole Churchill, could forget their differences and reunite. <laughs> Tonto quickly forbade the prayer, writing in caps, may God forbid such a prayer in Jesus' name. She has used God and Jesus together. Wow. While adding, thanks for the evil wishes. I know you intended I know you intended well. Now the follower refused to stop there. He maintained his stance and told Tonto that all African women need a man in their life. I don't get that part. Because it is not our thing in black race to live like a wait now, Amanda. <laughs> to live like a single parent. Trust Tonto too. Uh -uh, she will not let it end there. She gave it back. 
She insisted that the prayer was an evil one and whatsoever <laughs> prayer dished out this year, which isn't in her favor, she has, out, she has to forbid and cast out. OJ, stop laughing. <laughs> what? That is so dramatic though. Oh, no, like, no, wait, the story has not ended. So guys, Mr. Churchill put an Instagram post of himself, a picture, and then the caption says in quotes, <clears throat> which me, I think is a subtle reply, Sha, somewhere in there. The picture said, I don't carry any hate in my heart. I love you before. If, I, if I've loved you before, I still got love for you. Stay away from me though. <sighs> so my question is, now you can talk. When will this drama end? Ah, With Tonto Dike, that drama it's is not be a ending. Minute. I don't think it's ending. I think Dike likes all this attention. It's quite dramatic. And likes I feel like, attention. yes, she likes she his likes attention. attention. And the fact that because he keeps she, not... You know, rejected you, you said that yeah. um, African women don't need, need men in their life. No, that's what, I didn't that's, say that's, that. That's, that's what, what the guy was saying. That's what the guy was saying. The guy said saying. every African woman needs a man in their life. Oh. So the key word, I'm like, need? No, no, need. Like every, okay, I feel you. Well, slow down. I feel like this is 2019 and Tonto needs to let go of all the hate because she always preaches, you know, all this gospel Christ, truth, Christ, forgiveness, love, peace. Show it. No, there's a, there's there's a, a, there's a, a, you sort of no, there's a, there's a, no, there's a way this person would have commented on your picture. He just like or not even acknowledge right. it yeah. than going further and saying god forbid i cast and bind you then the person he is literally is, having a conversation that, yes. can you write a section? book though i think i'll read it unbecoming unbecoming <laughs> tonto moving on to some foreign gist oh. right here something is coming to your tv screen guys yes. after over 30 years since American actor Eddie Murphy starred in Prince Akeem in Coming to America, the actor is set to star in a sequel to the 1988 comedy classic. Apparently, it will be scripted by blackish creator Kenya Barris. Coming to America 2 will revolve around Prince Akeem returning to America to seek out his long lost son, the heir to the throne of the African nation Zamunda. Zamunda. I, can't, I can't really wait, but why a sequel after? So 30 long years, though. like yes. I cannot imagine, you know. As <clears throat> I am like this, now I'm telling my children. Ah, Did you I watch the child? first one? Yes, no. What's what do you mean? What, what, what are you doing like with yourself, OJ? Come, come. How old are you? It's just a question. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, so what you were saying, bro. his age is not a young you know, but at the same time. So you watched the first one? Yes, I did. Amanda, you did? Yes. Like ah, last two years or last three years or last five years or last I watched Okay, sorry. But then I feel like, I feel like it's about time. I really feel like I'm excited to see it. Cause what coming did we to do? But then they, they saying long lost son. I was I didn't really get that. Where did that he get in. Where, Who did who, he get pregnant? So they'll tell us. They'll so tell us in the movie. They'll just think about it. I'm just scared. I just feel like coming to America is like one it's of my classic. favorite. It's yeah, a classic. It's one of my favorite films like forever. So mm -hmm. I, I don't want to kill somebody to do something. And, it's and it just messes right? everything up. Like I'm I don't scared. Think, I don't think they will. They will get it right. It's an African story. You saw how they did all those Wakanda, Black Panther, all you African, all <laughs> no, you, all ones, you, all all you Africans were just jumping up, portraying Africa yeah. in the right way. That's what they're about to do to you people again. I feel, I'll compare Zamunda. coming. I'll compare it why to don't Lion you? King. Like it's such a classic, like yeah. Lion King. And there's a remake and of then Lion King. There is out, one, so. there's two, there's three, there's even one and a half, and it all did well. So Let's see what it. But the only thing yeah, is that they're they're kind of old now, so yeah. We, they Except they're using like some Nigerian actors. I'm just saying. Uh -uh. Oh, I don't you understand. Who are you? Put them who are you people? Oh, I really wants to cast. <laughs> wants to cast herself inside the movie. Yes. Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> finally, in the news, and this one is actually weird and wacky. Yeah. American writer star Kylie Jenner no longer holds the record for the most liked picture on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Kylie Jenner's first ever Instagram post of a baby girl Stormy Webster got a uh, 18 million likes causing her to break the record for the most likes on instagram well that record has been beaten by an egg hmm. yes at world underscore record underscore egg decided that they wanted to beat kylie's record on purpose so they uploaded a picture of an egg ladies and gentlemen that picture has gotten a whooping 22 million likes so far an egg not like a pick ego, just, just regular egg. Regular uh, yeah, egg. Well, what, what is, what what is wrong? About, like, what is wrong? No, I think like, there's something wrong with the world they right have now. To have a Pe huge campaign. It's not a beef. Like, I feel like it's just the same as Guinness World Record. So someone has done this, and then you just think, oh, what can I do? Okay, I want to beat this record. And then so you why, why? If I knew that it was such record, you know, I'd have just, you know. But why, why be petty? I think that's why this that egg actually has petty. more likes. Right? Why be petty and just bring an egg and say, you know what, guys? Let's make this egg I, I, be the I most liked. It's a picture. A picture I, is a picture. No. Whether egg, egg or brown egg. 
No, they are, they are hating, and the sad part uh, is that guys... nobody is even paying you for this Instagram like. So but, all their hard work and data is gone. But to the waste. crazy, the crazy thing right now is that Kylie has actually reacted to this. To and this. What is, oh, what did she, she say? So she just put up a picture on Instagram, and with she just picked an egg, broke, smashed the egg, and just spilled it on the floor for it to fry on the road. So that's just an egg taking over all my likes of my baby. I smash you. Boom. I bang you. E. Die. Nigerian. <laughs> so that's the, that's okay. OJ, Kylie's, Kylie's yeah. voice. Wow. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> that is it on the news update. Like, enough of all this weirdness. <laughs>